so far I'm going on to my fourth month at this new home. I feel like my new place has slowly shifted itself into an artist studio. This evolution was very unexpected, but it also feels natural and very real. Lately, I have been able to sit down and just paint again. The flow of painting, drawing, writing, and all things creative have always been a big part in how I honor my inner artist. I find that the closer I become to living a life that feels more thoughtful and honest to myself, my stream of creative power starts to flow through me. Every time I get to tap into that energetic realm of pure and raw creation, it's like a feeling of connection that helps anchor me into a state of sacred and playful expression. Although I love to paint and create these expressions of art, I never took pride in them. In fact, I've always hid them away hoping one day I will be good enough. To this day, I still feel like I have a lot to learn, but something I have accepted is that being a student will keep that curiosity alive. And being a professional can be obtainable, but with confidence. You see, I believe that the truth is always moving as we evolve and progress into greater beings in life. Therefore, being exceptional has to come from being confident from within. I can now confidently share with you these new work of mine and smile at them too. I remember as a child telling everyone I will be an artist one day when I grow up. But as I go through all the necessary stages of learning, I sometimes let the challenging moments get the best of me. And so I lived by what others told me was the right thing to do. I let them determine my narrative to my story and paint the sky to my life. I think that before we can understand the value of our own divine creation, we must witness and understand the shadows that cast its light. So before moving here, my mind was in such a whirlwind. I felt like I was being pulled in different places that didn't foster or nurture my inner light. Being here now has anchored me from a place of fear and stress to peace and calm. It's not always like this every day, but I have felt more connected to my purest intention and more rooted in to reclaim my love for creating again. Now, I am not saying I figured out the quintessence of life, but this inner work has definitely helped me relinquish some worries and self-doubt that I have been battling with on my path. Moving forward, I like to cultivate a clearer pathway where I can feed into my dreams and just hopefully help encourage others to do the same.
Hey loves, how's it going? It's Anne. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Today's video is quite special because I don't think that I've ever been happy or proud of sharing my art. I mean, I have done painting videos before, but I feel like I've been following a certain standard or just going by a certain guideline. Whereas with abstract art, it's more raw and it's more real, it's more honest, it's coming from the inner spirit coming out and expressing wholeheartedly what has been internal. And so this is my first time feeling proud of sharing with you what I have been working on. I, you know, am usually very shy about my work and I usually hide it and I usually feel like it's not good enough, it's not worthy of seeing or compliments or any of that. And I, I struggle with that before. I've always wanted to be an artist, but because back then when I was a child, art wasn't a very respectable kind of job. You know, it was just seeing, it seemed more as a hobby, more as play and being something else, a doctor, a lawyer is more respectable than being an artist. I just kind of put that idea to the side, not even to the side, I threw away that idea and I just dabble into art every now and then for fun. To be courageous with my, my work is to share it with you and that's what I have been doing. Now that I'm doing these artwork and these creative projects, I feel like I can implement all that and bring it together and so that's why I'm creating this website. So I bought the domain already and it's called Studio Anne Lay. I want to know what you think of that name, Studio Anne Lay. It's not live yet or anything. I'm still working on it, so I could still change it if you guys think that's an awful name. But I kind of like it. I feel like it really encompasses who I am today. You know, my whole cottage home is actually like a studio space. Um, up here, it's my tea room. I'm in my tea room. I have my artwork over here. And then downstairs, my computer. And I also do some artwork down there as well. I've been dabbling a lot into pottery. I love using my hands and just, you know, making things. Um, so that's been really, really fun. And although I don't feel like I have all the necessary skills to call myself a professional, I feel like art is truly art if you can express yourself freely and be honest with who you are and convey it to the world in the most raw and um, pure way. And so that's what I feel like I was able to tap into this year. And that's what gave me the courage to kind of put this out there and share it with you guys. There's so much to learn in life. I feel like you can be a student and you can also be a professional. I love to always be curious about life and to be open to learning new ventures and learning new skills and to level up in whatever it is that I'm doing. For me, different types of expression through artwork is a great way for me to tap into my higher self, my inner self, my true self, and to live a more honest lifestyle. But I believe that anybody else can do that. And just by demonstrating demonstrating what I have been learning and sharing with you what I have been receiving and experiencing in life is my way of encouraging you to find that honesty within you. So that's just what I have been um, integrating into my life and I wanted to share that with you. So thank you all so much for spending time with me and towards the end of this video. I love you, I appreciate you, and I will talk to you next time. Ciao!